Detroit, 2009. No herds of cattle, no rock stars. Instead, more caution and fear of the uncertain future in the car industry. The Motor City, the heart of the American automotive industry, is hard hit by the economic crunch. Ford, GM, and Chrysler are barely surviving thanks to government loans. The German car makers, though, really let it rip in Detroit. While ordering short shifts for its workers back home, in Detroit, Mercedes-Benz took the wraps off the new E-Class. In addition, they also showed off the Blue Zero, an electric car of tomorrow. In three years, as a matter of fact, the first of these could roll off the line in Stuttgart. The 136 horsepower engine can be plugged into any ordinary wall socket. Sporty dreams come true with the SLR McLaren Sterling Moss. At VW, it's time to think green and sexy with the Concept Blue Sport. This chop top polo is truly very attractive. The Roadster runs on clean diesel and reaches a peak speed of 226 kilometers per hour using only 4.3 liters per 100 kilometers. From Ingolstadt, welcome the Audi Sportback Concept, a four-door coupe based on the A6. Four meters 95 in length, a brawny grille, an elegant tail end. Add to that a clean three-liter six-cylinder diesel engine with 225 horsepower and a top speed of 245 kilometers per hour. It's a world premiere time at BMW with the second generation of the Z4. The two-seater is fresher styling and is bigger. It now comes with a two-section foldable aluminum roof. Also, the Mini heads for the streets in a brand new topless outfit. Toyota presents the Prius 3. While keeping the same characteristic wedge shape for the Prius, Toyota has upped the size of the gasoline engine for the new generation to 1.8 liters, now giving the car an output of 98 horsepower. Also on display, the study of the IQ with its electric drive system. Lexus proudly staged a world premiere showing of its HS250H. The new mid-range sedan, a notch above the IS, is aimed at luring the green-oriented customers in the USA. Honda is also involved in the hybrid market. Here, the Insight. Mazda brought along the Mazda 3. Maserati laid on the luxury with its Quattro Porte. Chevrolet places its faith in the Camaro. Cadillac displayed its new SUV, the SRX. Kia's contribution to Detroit was a stylish concept version of the Little Soul. Ford defies the difficult times, creating two very promising models the Taurus, and for the more dynamic taste, the Mustang Shelby GT500. Britain goes USA. From Sweden, we now get the follow-up model to the S60, Volvo at its best. And here's a study by Henrik Fisker, the Karma S. Detroit 2009, 
A crisis-stricken industry shows its true potential. Still, how this auto year will actually evolve, no one can say right now.